Supriya Life Science Limited IPO is here. In this video, we will take a quick look at Supriya Life Sciences Limited upcoming IPO. Share some details about this company like company's business model, positive and negative points. So stay tuned. But before we can proceed further, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon. Let's begin with the IPO details. The issue is for a total of rupees 700 crores, which comprises of fresh issue of 200 crore rupees and an offer for sale of equity of 500 crore rupees. The issue opens on 16th December 2021 and closes on 20th December 2021. The price band is 265 rupees to 274 rupees per share and the bid lot is 54 shares. Post the issue, the market cap of the company will be 2,205 rupee crores and the shares are likely to be listed on the exchanges on 28th December 21. In terms of objectives, this IPO aims to utilize the net proceeds for funding, capital expenditure and repayment of borrowings. Let's now take a brief overview of this company. Supriya Life Science Limited was incorporated in March 2008 by Satish Varman Wag. Company is one of the key Indian manufacturers and suppliers of active pharmaceutical ingredients, that is APIs. Supriya Life Science Limited focuses on research and development. Along with this company, focuses on diverse therapeutic areas and niche products. Company has niche product offerings of 38 APIs focused on diverse therapeutic segments such as antihistamine, analgesic, anesthetic, vitamin, anti-asthmatic, and anti-allergy. Company exports to 86 countries to 1,296 customers, including 346 distributors. Company's manufacturing plant is located at Maharashtra, which is spread across 23,806 square meters. Company has four blocks, in which fourth block has been recently commenced. If we look into its financials, Supriya Life Science Limited has reported revenue growth of 23.6% in financial year 21. Company has shown a continuous improvement in EBITDA margins, which currently stands at 43.9%. Company has reported return on net worth of 46.04% in financial year 21, which is one of the best across API companies. If we talk about some positives here, Number one, backward integration of API business lead to better margins and reduced dependency on import of raw material. 12 of existing products are backward integrated, which contributes 67.1% of revenue. Number two, export contributes to 77.5% of financial year 21 revenue. Company exports to 86 countries like Latin America, Europe, China and Cambodia and so on. Number three, company has niche product offerings of 38 APIs focused on diverse therapeutic segments. Let's now also look into some of the risks associated with this company. Number one, company already has high export market share in key APIs, thus it will be challenging for the company to increase its market share. Number two, high customer concentration. Top 10 customers contributes to 47% of first half financial year 22 revenue. Any loss of customer can be a risk. Number three, in last three years, company's gross margin and EBITDA margins has increased significantly. It could be difficult for the company to improve margins from these levels. So friends, overall, we've explained company's business model, discussed financials, positives and negative points. Now you guys, please comment below in the comment section what do you think of this IPO? Should we subscribe or avoid? Kya hume listing in milega is IPO mein? For Angel Research View, we've published our report on Angel One website on 15th December 2021. Well, thank you for watching the video. To get regular updates on our upcoming videos, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.